Yeah, well I see we meet again. What's going on YouTube? I'm back out at my bike here, out at the spot as usual. Wanted to show you real quick a little gadget, a little setup that I have that is going to save you some money. It's going to save you a whole lot of time and frustration and it might just make sure that you get home at the end of the night. Stick around, we're going to show you. As you guys know, I am a huge battery killer. Um, my bikes have died on me all the time because I'm charging a bunch of stuff. I have connections and everything. Like even this one here specifically, I have, you know, the plug inside. Um, and I'm always charging some phones and now GoPros and stuff now that I have the channel. And, you know, if you got a channel and you got like a GoPro 9 and 10 um, specifically, well, really any of them because they have these for uh, any of the models. So um, it's pretty much a charging situation now. Uh, this goes along the line of, uh, you know, our preparation videos for Sturgis because we're going to be out there and we're going to be riding long distances. But this works for anything because this is going to be my future setup and my future, uh, you know, option. Instead of using my bike for power, what I did is I got this. This is a Teleson uh, battery charger. It's the three um, GoPro battery charger for the 9 and the 10. Uh, 9 and 10 share the same batteries. It even comes with two of its own uh, Teleson batteries. They're, they work pretty well. There's a video out there of a guy um, that tested them out and they work just as well as, um, you know, the regular batteries. I think it was like at 7% when the GoPro battery, or I'm sorry, when this died, the GoPro battery had about 7% each time that he had it. So they're with them about 7%. So they do discharge pretty well. Um, either way, they come with it. So my main thing was to get this case um, because one thing, as you see, it's enclosed. It closes up and everything and it has an awesome little hook here. I don't really use the hook. I mean, it's it's great if you're you know got a bunch of stuff and you hook it on while you're getting somewhere i guess it has its use but not really for me i just wanted it to be enclosed because i had the old version here this is the um the gopro charger and it's only two as you can see but they just kind of sit right on top of there and uh you know kind of they'll just fall right out you know i mean you plug in and i wanted something a little bit better than that so i seen this on it's like ebay amazon i mean it's a cheap little thing but uh it works well. It's supposed to be waterproof, although I don't really trust that. It, realistically, it's, you know, the first level of waterproofing for this. It's got like a skin, like a, a rubbery skin that's on it that helps out with that, I guess. Um, I wouldn't trust it too much to be dunking it or nothing like that, but if there's a cold water bottle in your uh, bag or if there's, you know, there's like a wet rag or something like that, this is good enough to, to you know, to keep that moisture off of them. And it locks up and i don't care if it's tumbling around this not so much this i mean it's good to fall out so i needed a better solution so i went with this um the cool thing about this too is it has two spots here to keep extra sd cards in case you need them um and another awesome thing is you can plug in your sd card when you're done um filming and of course you know hook up to the usb in the back it's a usb c um, and then hook up to your computer and you can just dump your uh, your footage right from this um I, uh, I tried it once and there wasn't a, a huge difference in the regular SanDisk um, transfer rate, so it's pretty good. Um, so in addition to this, um, you know, what I have powering this is this here. This is the, I don't know if you can see, Anchor, Anchor, Anchor brand uh, uh, power bank. I went with the big one. Mm-hmm. I want with the big one, that's a, a 20,100 milliamp. I know they got bigger ones than this, this is the, the biggest one, bigger, bigger. But for the size, I mean, it's not really too much bigger. Um, I didn't want to go too crazy size, because I still wanted it to be portal or portable, uh, but I did want some good, some good juice. It has a button on the side. It shows you the, uh, you know, the amount that you have, you know, four, four uh, buttons, I guess 25% each. This thing has got a lot of juice. I've just for for reference i put this in my car i charged it up fully and i put it in my car for about two weeks and within that two weeks my daughter grabbed it a few times maybe you know three times or so to charge her from, from dead um and you know that plus two weeks i went and plugged it back in and only one light was was flashing so it only used like 25 percent of its battery power to do all of that so this is plenty of power so i'm going to have this set up to where it's here I'm gonna, of course it comes with a, uh, a cord here um this ain't the cord actually um right which is right here so it goes with it um plugs into your uh 
your USB or whatever charges right from here the uh, the charge input is on the right here it's not a C I believe that's a B an old school one. And they got two charges here it does work it will charge two things at the same time um, this one here um, seems to be faster than this one uh, the quick charging works on this left one so when I go to, to plug in and charge something I always use that far left one um, and it does a you know a really good job about an hour and a half for a phone um, same thing with this about an hour and a half and it has all um, all the batteries charged. Another thing with this too that I didn't mention is it has three lights on the inside of here. You can't really see it. The skin is over it, but uh, there's LEDs underneath there and they're red when you're you're dead and, and green when you're good to go. Um, they change automatically. So when you're all charged up, you're good to go. So there it is, folks. I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna have in the bag. I'm not tired of changing motorcycle batteries. They're more expensive than this. They suck to change and um, I think this is going to be, you know, a lot easier to keep up with. Uh, one thing about this bank, though, like, like I said, it's a 20,100, and uh, there are bigger ones, but even this one. <laughs> now, I, I've tried, I discharged this, I charged a bunch of things and did some testing with it when I first got it, of course, and um, this one here takes about, man, pretty much 24 hours. Um, it, it takes a long time. I mean, overnight, it's not going to do it. You're not going to wake up in the morning like your cell phone and you're ready to go. If it's dead, it's going to take a good 20 to, to, to 24, 25 hours or so to get it up there. But once you do have a charge, it's going to charge forever. Um, and we're going to put this to the test, too. And maybe I'll, I'll check in with you guys and let you know how it's performing at uh, Sturgis. Because Sturgis 2022, my goodness, I can't wait. It, that's going to be the ultimate test. We're riding an hour and a half just to get to the places that we're at. So I have to have something on mobile that's going to be, you know, reliable and, and, and keep me powered up through them long rides so i already got some giant sd cards for it so i got the power situation squared away and you know if i need more i always got the bike but um the idea is to not tap into any of that and just to have this as the main power unit um and just make sure that i get home at the end of the night so there it is guys just a quick one this is probably going to be um you know my last video until we go of course i mean it is what's today it's thursday um so we only got a few days before we head out we're going out there on like the we're heading out the third and kind of taking our time and staying the next halfway there and just taking our time so we're not beating when we get there but it's happening man i can't wait we're going to be out there um so i'm not going to have a i'll probably going to have some shorts you know as we're going out there and all that so it's going to take me maybe a week or so to uh to get the full videos out but i'll still be dropping something guys and uh i'll make sure that you guys have a up front row seat at sturgis and i'll drop some shorts and whatnot Anyways, guys, hit that subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll be back for some more. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.